Hello everyone, I'm Amal Drowsy Wolf 1 and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV! Ah! I'm not going the right way. Okay. Let's take a look around. Take a look around. Let's see what we can find. I am told that you are the warrior of light, but I will know for myself. I shall walk north, and you may choose to follow. Know, however, that you will be waylaid if you do. You may even perish. Should you survive, I, we shall speak anon. Well, Ninja gear time. You are being judged. <laughs> I am being judged. Oh, goodness gracious. Yep. Whoop! I thought that said British him for a moment. It's, it wasn't British, it was brutish. For some reason, that kind of disappoints me slightly. <laughs> Look at all those bogeys. I'm still being- Whoa. Big. And you know what? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Bam. Da 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 <laughs> oh, now there's two of them. Don't care, fate. Laughing toad. Why are they laughing toads? I'm gonna take off the right there. Because I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene after this. Now my charges! What the hell? Yeah, you didn't cast time time and now you're dead. How do you feel about that?
Remarkable. Truly remarkable. I thank you for granting me this indulgence. None save he who best of La Brea could endure such an examination. Have the lost man grown so twisted in my absence that it is now per permitted to lay hands upon an emissary? You bore witness to my audience with the Addisons, did you not? Then you know I acted only in self-defense. I realize the same could not be said of La Brea. Even amongst his brethren, he is considered unique. Nevertheless, I cannot wholly condemn his misdeeds, for through them we discovered you, one so strong in the gift that he could cast us out. Your mother favors you still, that much is plain, but surely you must feel it. Her influence wanes, and her strength shall soon be spent. These lands, these people, this world, all sh shall soon change. As it was, so shall it be. A as it was, sh so shall it be again, as it should always have been. Doubt my claims and question my motives, if you will. Only believe me when I say this. I am Eladivas, em emissary, bearer of the word of the one true God. And we shall meet again. Eladibus. Eladibus. <sighs> Back to the waking sands. I am going the wrong way. I put on my normal clothes again. I like my normal clothes. There we go. That's better. I go do 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 Yes. Hello Menbelia. Thank the gods you've returned, Sarath. After you left, I began to worry that I might have sent you to your doom. I take it our visitor proved elusive. Beg pardon? He was waiting for you? What did you do? What did he say? And as it was, sh so shall it begin. As it was, so it shall be again? Of, of when does he speak? And of what exactly? The words of this Eladibas port portend much but reveal nothing, save perhaps a measure of disdain for La Breha. Oh, I had hoped for answers, but it seems I shall be content. Uh, but it seems I shall have to be content with a wealth of additional questions. Complete. Let us set aside the matter of this Asian until after we have completed our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favor I would ask of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned that. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. The truth, however, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was the spy. He maintained the, de the deception for nigh on half a decade, furnishing with the Resistance with vital Imperial secrets while feeding his paymaster subtly conceived misinformation. When he died some 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I have closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believed to be the single greatest threat to, Re to, the to Reorzia, the Primals. 
Its wisdom has guided me through the years, though there is much within I still do not understand. It is my hope that Uriange will fare better. Tell him to treat her with care. It is all that I have left of my father. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Uriage, I'm floating. I thought thee departed. To what end dost thou linger? Have this. Thy father's final bequest. The daughter's lifelong labor. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. Well, I can imagine the. Well, I can. Well, can I imagine the Addison's pain? Upon mine honor, I swear to spare no effort in the study of these materials, lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. Sire, this is Menphilia. Forgive me, but I could wait no longer. I have departed for the Rising Stones. If if you have yet to. Once you have given the journal to Ariange, I bid you to come to the seventh heaven in Revenant's Toll. The Tayu will be there to show you inside our, our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it, you may wish you to make use of your new Aetherite in Revenant's Toll. After all, it is right on, right on our doorstep. Two more Dona! Woo! Over here. Yes. Welcome, Sire. Welcome. Welcome, Sire. Welcome. This is your first time here, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're going to like our new home. Well, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Go in and have a look. To the Rising Stones! <laughs> Welcome to the Rising Stones. This is our new hangout. It's pretty and nice and stuffs. Hello, everybody. Hello. Well, it is certainly spacious. Today marks the new beginning for the signs of the seventh dawn. For today, we declare our independence. We shall henceforth be beholden to no nation, but serve all of Eorzea's people proudly and openly. But this does not mean that we will serve our that we will sever our ties to the Eorzean alliance. On the contrary, the Addison and I shall endeavor to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that we shall not permit political considerations to influence to influence our decisions. Our identities remain unchanged, as does our cause. We are the signs of the seventh dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Eorzea. For Eorzea! A moment of your time, Sarth. I would speak of Elidibus. Let a bit of this. 
Pardon my intrusion, my lady, but the matter which bringeth me will admit no delay. My every attempt to contact the students of Belladosian hath been met with silence. No one was, will respond? How odd. Allow me to try. No response. Surely they surely they would not ignore us. We never have yet, my lady. I fear we must assume the worst. No, no, I will not believe it. An up an outpost perhaps, but not their headquarters. The wards are beyond circumvention. Had they come under attack they would have most certainly raised the alarm. No one could could penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But, the, but for those who lack the gift and the knowledge, both. Oh no. Contact their agents in the field at once. If all has befallen the students of Beladosian, Bel they, they may know of it. Though the thought of it pains me, until such time as we have evidence to the contrary, we, we can but assume the worst. Accordingly, we must need seek another source of information on Eladivius. El El it is possible that others in the homeland are possessed of such knowledge. Be fairly warned, however. They are unlike they are unlike to yield it unconditionally. Do what you must. Yet another unforeseen and unwelcome development. What could be next, I wonder? A visit from the from a crimson clad Asian, perhaps? Or an or Orcher? Or Poos? And which of our allies will will then be si and which of our allies will then fall silent? For a time, I thought we had gained the upper hand. <clears throat> when you shall shattered the crystal of darkness that cast out La Abrea, I dared to hope that we had found a way to rid ourselves of the Asian menace. But I was wrong. He endures and may yet return. Upon that point, I have no doubt that El Eladibas spoke true. Yet there must be a way to destroy them utterly, a way to spread this world of their unholy machinations. I dare not consider the alternative. There are forces that there are forces at work that we do not understand, Zareth. I discern them all around. In the disturbances in disturbances too great and too numerous to be dismissed as mere coincidence. Doubtless the paragons are involved, but how and to what end is far from clear. I know not what will come, but I do know that we will rise and meet it as one. Ah, my stalwart hero, your face is a picture of resolve. I know that you will be ready when the time comes. With luck, however, that that will not be for a while yet. Pray return to your private affairs with my blessing. Should anything arise, you will be informed. Cryo, where are you? Your intercession was not foretold. You object. We question. Our plans are in motion. Your intentions unclear. They survived the seventh ardor and are stronger now in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? No, it does not. Serve as you will, so too shall I. We labor not at cross purposes. The wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time, when the veil is lifted from their eyes. And at long last, they see. <laughs> Truly there is no rest for the weary. Scarce had, I be Scarce had I begun to make myself at home when I received a request for assistance from Amalgina's sons and mineral concern. 
It would appear the storehouse in Horizon has been has been the target of a series of convert robberies. Minor as they seem, minor as they seem in isolation, occasional discrepancies in the manifests were long dismissed as clinical, as clerical errors. It was only during the concerned annual audit that a pattern became apparent. Significant quantities of crystals, and only crystals, were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. The brass blades, the brass blades charged with investigating the thefts believe that someone within the concern is, is selling crystals for profit. Alas, they have yet to, they have, they have as yet been unable to identify a likely suspect, and the concerns profiteers have grown frustrated by their lack of progress. Needless to say, I would not have agreed to intervene had the stolen good, goods been merely, monet, have been of merely monetary value. There is even a possibility that the thief acts not out of self-interest, but in service to a primal. We can ill afford to wait for the blades to realize the mistake. Pray depart for Horizon at your earliest convenience. Rendezvous with Yustola when you arrive. She and Thanker ha have already begun a, a preliminary investigation. I have every confidence that the three of you will get to the bottom of these thefts. I only hope our fears are proved unfounded when you do. Yay! More crystals and probably more primals. Whoop-dee-doo!